good afternoon. I'm back at Nine Mile Creek Parkway for another round of testing. And this time I actually remembered to change the crank length on my uh, power meter pedals. So I should have some more accurate numbers this time. I've also re er, uh, reversed the route so that the little bit of uphill at the end is now a nice little downhill to get me going. And then the rest of the route should be flat. It's still a half mile route. Um, but I don't have time to do a longer route today. So let's see what happens. Um, I'll do three runs uh, without a race hood, three runs with, and I'll skip the wheel cover part. I'm so. bright blue. I know. I'm just I'm saying, going, as you're coming around here, you're actually where I just say you can put a flag or something. I'm, 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 I'm ruined just... the point of having it. That ruins the aerodynamics. All Normally right. I have lights, but I forgot the battery.
It's a Velomobile. A what's it called? Velomobile. Vela? Velo. Velomobile. Yeah. Does it have to be licensed? Nope. There's no engine. Oh, how do you do it? A pedal. Oh, good for you. I'm gonna, just... get, I'm gonna get one for my grandsons. <laughs> Vela? Velo. V O L O. Oh, V O L L. -O yeah. W. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Well, this is by far the most social interaction I've had out in the Velomobile between the guy from the city telling me that he couldn't see me very well, despite the fact that he could see me just fine to stop me in the middle of the road where there's no shoulder while he was blocking the middle lane. And then this lady who says she's going to uh, get a Velomobile for her grandsons, which sounds like fun until she looks at the price tag. Anyway, uh, that was a little close there, buddy. I probably shouldn't be stopped here, but normally there's not that much traffic. Uh, I just tried to run without the race hood, and I think one run's sufficient for that. Uh, compared to the three runs before it with, with the race hood, I was a little bit slower and the wattage was up quite a bit so I guess the race hood makes a difference at least at higher speeds but I'm not going to test any more today because one I'm supposed to be working right now and two I'm exhausted but I think I have something that's slowing me down someplace so I don't know if it's an issue with with the wheels uh, as far as uh, the orientation of the front wheels versus the rear wheel, uh, I think I need to flip it over and take a look at how well squared up things are. Um, that of course is a problem with not having gone and uh, built the bottom of the Velomobile first. I built the sides and the top and then added the bottom in later. That was a mistake and we'll see. Uh, Later this week, maybe on Friday, I'll have some time. I'll take a look and see if those things are really squared up properly. And then I guess the next thing to look at would be, uh, are my pulleys off a little bit and that sort of thing. So uh, the wattage according to my Garmin was around 215 watts to do uh, 24 and a half miles an hour with the race hood. That's way higher than it should be. So something's not up not quite right either the route is a little bit too short to really get up to speed and start gliding or I've just plain got something inefficient someplace hi so I've now done a couple of aerodynamic tests uh, the first test was at 21.5 miles an hour and that ended up requiring around 150 or 155 watts with the race hood just to keep 21.5 miles per hour going on a relatively flat stretch. Uh, yesterday I went and I did a second test at 24.5 miles an hour. The 0.5 is because I just couldn't put out enough watts to keep it at 25 miles an hour and that's what it ended up averaging. That required uh, at the lowest 213 watts and at the highest 217 watts with the race hood. Without the race hood it was 230 some watts and I couldn't even um, I couldn't even manage to maintain the speed so I'm out here today it's a nice day I really should have been out riding but I didn't have time between things so I'm out here today uh, with my Velomobile and I've got it turned over and I am going to see if in fact I did get the rear wheel trued up uh, I did a little bit of measuring a little bit ago from this rod here to the front of the wheel well on uh, actually to the to the line here where the nose attaches and it is the exact same measurement so those areas are square and what I'm gonna do is I am going to run this metal bar 
which is going to be about as straight as anything I own. And I'm going to just uh, cinch that down to the rear wheel and then do measurement to see if in fact that is square. So, siding down the line here, aside from the fact that I did kind of a poor job of cutting the line 100% straight, looking dead on, that does look really good. And the same when comparing on the other side, aside from the fact that my line didn't always get cut 100% perfectly, siding down that it does look really good so that tells me that the rear wheel is truly in alignment to the front wheels so the next step would be a double check to see if in fact the wheel alignment on the front wheels is still good if that's not what's slowing me down then there must be an aerodynamic issue someplace. It's really super windy here today. Uh, one thing I did do is formerly this chain tunnel extended out to here. I had left it a little bit long and I intended to cut it at some point and I just never got around to it. And so today I went ahead and I cut that back just a little bit to here. I'll need to do a little bit of sealing on the wood. Um, in fact, it looks like my fiberglass ends right here, so I may need to cut it back even just a little bit more. But that took a little bit of the tension off of that chain tube, and I doubt that's going to help um, much of anything, but it is an alteration that I made.